Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Karen and I sell on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. I am a full-time reseller, sometimes part-time, depending on what's going on with my family. I am a mom to five crazy boys between seven and 17. And today, I'm bringing you with me to another estate sale. I haven't been to one in a hot minute, and so I was really excited about this one because of some of the stuff I saw in the kitchen and the pictures. So the items I saw were a four-piece uh, mushroom print canister I set for the kitchen, and it turns out they were actually Tupperware, and I was very excited about them because mushrooms, as far as decor, vintage decor goes right now, are huge, and they get a big price right now. And so I was looking at probably being able to sell that four-piece set for like 80 bucks or so, and I was very excited. So very disappointed that I wasn't able to get that. And look at that carpet, guys. Did you see that? <laughs> Looks like they had that a multicolored rug, like a braided one, on the floor in the kitchen for so long that it colored the carpet. Yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. And who has carpet in their kitchen these days? And this, you'll see a little bit later that this home is just kind of frozen in time in a lot of different ways. And these people had so many tchotchkes, it's crazy. You know, there's just so much stuff in here that they've clearly had for a very long time. This back room, though, is really, really cool. I definitely love those chairs. I wouldn't be able to have them in my house, though, because I have five boys, and you know they always have something on their hands, and that's just not going to work. So I quit buying chairs with the spindle back. A very long time ago because I was so sick and tired of trying to wipe them down. I looked at this little silverware set for a hot minute and then just kind of moved on because I realized it wasn't real silver. That mirror is pretty cool. Years ago I probably would have picked that up and like repainted it and stuff. But I just have too many things going on right now to try and deal with something like that. So um, I don't even think I really like look, looked at it, to be honest. But I mean, seriously, look at this. Look at all of these different things that these people have. And you'll see in a little bit that this is probably all of the stuff that the lady was holding on to. And uh, the stuff downstairs in the basement is all of the crazy stuff that the husband was holding on to. Now look at this oven. This makes me think of ads that I've seen in the past that were from like the World's Fair in like the 1950s and stuff. And I'm actually standing here chatting with this lady about this oven and how cool it is. And this is when I realized how cool it really is. Look at that. I've seen one just like this at the World's Fair like ads online. And this is where it's even more cool. Check this out, guys. There is the burners. It's a burner drawer and they hide. So that's how having a kitchen that small works. I mean, how super cool and convenient is that? Except for the fact that obviously when it's still hot, I don't know if you can put it back away or what, but I mean, there's a little oven right there and it's so neat how it like lifts up so that it's out of the way. There is so much stuff in this house and I mean, it's not as much as some of the other estate sales I've been to where they were like seriously like hoarder problems. <laughs> But, I mean, here's a lot of the guy stuff. Um, it seems like there's a lot of estate sales that I'll go to where, you know, the basic clothing is like, you know, a lot of, like it just said right there, bra uh, basic additions. This one seemed nice, but I don't remember what brand it was. It just wasn't a nice enough brand for me to grab. Um, 
and just a lot of basic shirts and everything. I do end up finding some good stuff in this closet, but like this right here, that's a North Face button up. It does have some yuck on it that I realized later on and so I haven't put that through the wash quite yet. It's in my pile of stuff to spray and wash because I am going to be spraying some stuff on it. There's some ladies clothes in here. Sorry about the camera angle. I didn't have my, my GoPro didn't seem to want to like work with my phone today on this day. And so I had to just go it alone with my phone. And this is one of the awesome pieces that I grabbed. This is a, there was a vintage Pendleton and a regular Pendleton. This is the regular one. And this is one of those wool blazers, sport coats, with the suede detail on the top, the shoulders, and the elbow patches, the suede elbow patches. So I grabbed two of those. They were both a size 48. And then I grabbed that red sweater. That was actually a vintage REI um, half button down sweater. And this is cool. Check this out, guys. You see what this is? This is one of those original, like, I don't remember what they're called, but you put this big old strap around your waist and it like shakes you. And I don't know if those actually work, but that used to be a huge health thing back in the day. And it looks like it was an original one. Then, of course, there's more tchotchkes and stuff down here. You know, the old rosebud vases used to be popular. I think the, um, and check out that shag carpet, guys, that bright orange shag. How retro is that? I'm pretty sure that's an old vacuum canister. This guy had some crazy stuff. This piece right here to the right that's white, it says Thor on it. I looked it up while I was there. My husband helped me look it up while I was on FaceTime with it, with him. It's actually an original, um shirt I think it's a shirt pressing machine you put the sleeve on the piece on the left and it steams and presses your shirt or the sleeve or something I can't quite remember and there was a bunch more stuff right here but some of it had this really strong like mothball kind of smell and most of it um, either was not impressive um, had no tags, you know, different things like that. And so I just went ahead and left it all there. Um, I think the husband had like a very mechanical kind of mind because there was a lot of stuff downstairs that he was clearly working through, you know, different pieces for old vacuums, all sorts of stuff like that. Now check this out. Look at that old freezer, guys, that old chest freezer. This is probably from the 50s or 60s. They wanted, I think it was 500 bucks for this thing. And they said that it worked in everything. It was cool. It was really, really cool. <clears throat> and so I decided to kind of go through all this stuff. It was all covered in like dryer lint fuzz. There's my bag. Dryer lint fuzz on everything. And that was an awesome Pendleton wool flannel but it was just roached with like moth holes and so since I saw that one I was like okay I got to keep looking through and look at that one I mean why is that even there clearly they forgot that was even there and the moths were just having a party with it and there was some more stuff you know a few things here and there and this coat at the very end this cream colored one I was not familiar with the brand, and since it's kind of the end of coat season, um, I just decided to leave that one because I believe on the inside it said that it was like polyester or something, and so I just let, let it be. And there wasn't a whole lot to look at down here except a salad shooter. Yeah, some really old grading materials for like other stuff really old silverware it was like plated 
I went and went ahead and looked to see for any markings or anything like that. I mean, it's cool looking and everything. Definitely not my style. I am not that fancy, guys. And here's the creepy. Um, I think that's real human hair. Yeah. That's scary, guys. Pretty sure that's human hair. And there's the creepy clown. Anybody else get creeped out by clowns? I think the whole movie It that I watched one time never will again. I just can't. I, I really can't. I can't even see pictures of that movie, guys. And there's the creepy clown again. Okay. And then I have to look behind the door because you never know what else you might see. Whole bunch of crazy stuff. Little pieces here and there. And up at the top, there is the same exact cooler that my family had growing up. And I remember taking on trips with us and I used to think the spout was so cool. And when the ice would melt, that was my favorite thing is that I was the one that got to actually push the spout to let the water out from the melted ice. And here I am going down the hall. Look at that crazy wallpaper, guys. Wood paneling. I think those are some old projectors, but they were busted up. Here's some really old toys. I think that's Alfie. But unfortunately, most of these were really, really worn out. And so, you know, they weren't really worth anything because of that. And this piece. I'm pretty sure my baby sister had this attached to her crib when I was little. Yeah, the musical busy box. And this toy chest had a lot of really cool stuff in it. Some of it was missing pieces and stuff. I did bring this Tarzan home. He moves, but he is broken currently and my brother, my son is going to see if he can fix him. He only cost me a few dollars. He takes batteries. So he makes noises and then he's supposed to kind of climb the tree a little bit so he has motion. So we're trying to see if we can get him fixed. And I grabbed this guy, probably shouldn't have. He only sells for like 12 bucks, I believe. So we'll see if I can get anything out of him. And there was not a whole lot else, guys. As far as the toys go. I did rifle through some of that. Old, old fabric book. Alright, guys. Let's get to the haul portion of this. And I will show you all the fun stuff I found. Let's get into the haul so you guys can see some of the really interesting stuff that I found this time. Okay, let's start off with the mug, which is not something that I usually get, but every once in a while you gotta just grab something different, right? And this is a mug from Hawaii. It's hand-painted. And it says, Rainbow Ceramic, hand-painted, made in Hawaii, 1986 and it doesn't have any chips on it or anything. I thought it was really neat. And so I thought, hey, I'll give it a shot. I have little boxes that are specifically for things like this. And so we will put it in the shop and see how it does. You can tell it's, it's got some age. It does have crackling in it. But other than that, it is perfect. Next item is one that I got towards the end. And I had to use it the other day because there was a crazy storm that came through here. And I don't usually have an umbrella. I hate wear, using umbrellas. They're kind of a pain in the butt to me. I'd rather just put on a hoodie or not be in the weather, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> so this is, I think, a beach umbrella. And it's definitely vintage. And the reason why I think it's a beach umbrella is because of when you do this. 
and this pops out. So I'm assuming that this sticks in the sand and now we gotta get it to go back in. <laughs> All right. The other reason I think it's a beach umbrella is because of the beach theme on it. We've got some suntan lotion bottles, starfish, stuff like that, seahorses. And then the most interesting thing of all, it's from Escada. Now I've looked online and I can't seem to find anything. I did use it, it's pretty big. And uh, it's, it's really nice. I really like it. I'm not gonna keep it because I don't need an umbrella. I don't like using them, like I said. But I'm going to do a little bit more research to see what I can find out on this one. I did try and take a picture of the design, tried to search it up, and I just can't find anything. I have to hide it in my closet right now because my eight-year-old is just fascinated by it and wants to constantly open it. <laughs> so anyway, that is one of the cool finds that I have. All right, next is one that I grabbed almost at the end. And it is this vintage style, because I don't know how old it is to be perfectly honest, little soap dish, the one with the bracket mounts to the wall. So I don't know, it was like 50 cents. Might get a little bit of money off of that one. And it's fun finding vintage stuff, right? That you've never done before. All right, next piece. I believe this was like $10 and I've seen some similar to it on um, Poshmark and eBay that can go anywhere from like 75 to $175 but this is a vintage 70s Levi's three-piece suit. So here is the vest and it's Levi's Panatella sportswear. That's the vest. Then we have the jacket, matching jacket with the lining, brass looking buttons, and here are the pants. And it does have the paper tag, which really tells you that it's old. Um, but I don't see a size on it. And that may be something I have to figure out. I always, I always do it wrong, guys. I always put the pants the wrong direction. I gotta learn how to fold dress pants. I am not an ironing person. I hate ironing. All right, next is a blazer that I grabbed because of the houndstooth print or design on it and all the colors involved. And that's this one. It's like red, white, gray, and blue. Really cool looking. And it is by Bud's Duds for men. Oh, it's an uh, Sugar House Cottonwood. That's Salt Lake City. So that's a suburb of Salt Lake City, Utah, close to where I live. And there are the buttons. It's in perfect condition. So um, he did have a bunch of other ones, but I only like this one because of the print on it. All right. Next, I have one that's a style or a, a brand I don't normally pick up. It's Christopher and Banks, but I did grab this one because of the style. So there's the tag, it's a size medium, and it has these little wood buttons with the little toggle thing between. It's kind of a marled knit, and then it has this great design on the bottom. It's almost like a Fair Isle kind of design, but on the hem. And I think. It's made of wool. Let me see. Nope, it's acrylic and polyester. Yeah, I didn't think so. And it says 2005 on it. That's nice. It's 
not very often that you see a tag that actually has a date on it like that, or they have it hidden in like a series of numbers or something that you have to know about. Then one of the next items, which is not something I get very often, my son's gonna help me test this one out, but very old vintage alarm clocks, especially with a clock face on them, can go for a good amount of money sometimes. And this one was only $5. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It's very retro. Thought it was really super cool. Um, doesn't have any date or anything on it, but we will see if this is working right and then get it listed. It just has a little bit of pull up right here on this piece. And so I'm just gonna have to get some like Gorilla Glue and just kind of glue that down just a little bit. Next we have some shoes. These are some dad shoes. <laughs> they are New Balance 602s, um, pretty good condition. The only thing is just a little bit of wear on the inside. Um, they do have some pilling right in here from the socks that the person was wearing. And so I'm just gonna have to take my contraption that takes care of the pilling yeah, I can't remember the name of it right now, guys. Sorry. <laughs> and those should get at least like 30 or something. And I think they cost me five bucks. All right. Next piece I got because it's wool and it is vintage, but it is from REI. And it's, you know, 100% wool, pure wool, because it has that little symbol on it. And it is this nice, big half button up mock neck sweater, it's like a pullover, cable knit. It's in perfect condition. Doesn't even, doesn't even smell weird. You know, some estate sales you go to and they just smell weird, guys. And then you have to like treat the clothing because it smelled nasty. <laughs> Next is the best name brand find of this estate sale. I grabbed it the second I saw the name. Eileen Fisher and it is a linen button closure kind of blazer. The pockets almost think, makes me think it's like a linen cardigan. That's what I want to call it because it seems more like a cardigan than anything. Okay, next piece is by Lauren Ralph Lauren and this is a plaid long links. I think it's pajamas. It's button up and it's a size large, extra large. So I think it's pajamas. So Lauren Ralph Lauren is the one that I will pick up. I don't really like picking up regular Ralph Lauren all that often because it doesn't seem to go really well for me. Okay, next piece is by Columbia and it's this really cute cream marled knit mock neck sweater and it is a size extra large. It was sitting in a room for a very long time does have a little bit of guck right there that I might have to kind of figure out how to clean up. Other than that, it's great, it's super soft. And the next item is North Face. It's a men's extra large North Face shirt. It's a button up. And it has that breathable sort of material. I hit a hiccup. And uh, the little thing on the back. I don't know what that is and what the reason is for it, guys. And tab sleeves so you can roll them up if you want. And it is made out of, I'm kind of curious. Oh, it looks like it's been tailored a little bit. The back panel looks like it is normally longer. So I'm probably gonna have to let that stitch go, but it looks like it was just a really quick, like little whip stitch, very, very loose. So that shouldn't be a problem. You can see the little North Face tag right there. Oh, it's at the top. 
It is made out of, if it'll let me get to it, ooh, modal and polyester. That's good. People like modal. It's a very soft kind of material. And then a toy. I haven't even looked this one up. It's just been sitting here in the bag for like two weeks, guys. Because, you know, as you know, if you've seen some of my other videos, I have some craziness going on around here right now. So, uh, but it is this guy from Harry Potter. I can't remember his name right now. I know who he is though. And his legs work. I think it starts with an H. I'll remember it after the video, I'm sure. Anyway, I'll probably put him on Poshmark and Mercari, and I'm sure someone who's a Harry Potter freak has kids will probably snatch him up. So we'll put him over here with the hard good stuff. All right guys, last two items, and they are very similar to each other. Sorry, my hair's crazy. I was just scratching because my skin is so dry from this winter, it's driving me nuts. All right, and this is Pendleton men's blazer with the suede elbow patches, suede up here, back here, um, made in the USA. And let's see if we can find a size on this puppy. Oh, there's something in here. It's the card for the jacket, guys. It says Pendleton on it. I was hoping it was money. Gosh darn it. Well, we'll put that back in there. Maybe we should check the other pocket. No, nothing. All right, so looks like I'll probably have to measure this one. I need to start figuring out how to measure suit jackets a little better because I don't really know a lot about that but I definitely need to check the other pockets. Ew, tissue. Ugh. Gross. Anyway, and here is the other one. Just like it, just slightly different coloring. Same paneling and everything, same tag. But this one has something on it. Assembled in Mexico of USA fabric, dry clean. But it still doesn't, oh. I think it's a 48. It's right here, it says 48 on there. So I'm thinking that might be it. This one's got something in here too. Let's see what it is, guys. Still believe, words and music by Hillary Weeks. December 21st, 2014. Oh, Hillary Weeks is an LDS Mormon um, artist. She sings a lot of really beautiful songs. That's funny. There's a cough drop wrapper in there, guys. You know what's funny about that? These are the only ones I use. Let's see what else we got. Is there another pocket? Oh. Oh, paper and a pen. Let's see what else. Get a free healthy treat. It's a coupon. And a, another thing for the ward they go to at church and this really old pen. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything in the front pockets. Oh, crumbs. Blech. Now they're under my nails. Ooh, more tissue. Blah. <laughs> okay, done with that. All right, guys, that is it for the haul. Sorry about the nasty tissues. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna find in pockets, in the estate sales and everything. I'm gonna have to go like wash my hands now. So hopefully you guys liked this video. If you do, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe 
and I have tons of more videos on estate sale hauls, bins hauls, thrift with me videos, and anything else you can possibly think of. And uh, that's, and I will be doing one every three days is when I upload. And so keep an eye out and I will see y'all on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.